chapter 14. So this will be covering the skull and skull features. Now with the skull, there are three regions. There's the cranial region, which will be all the skull bones that are going to be forming the brain case, the facial regions, and the orbital region. So the orbital region, again, just bones forming the eye orbit. And again, reflecting on previously learned material, the skull is a part of the axial skeleton. Now, bones of the cranial region include the frontal bone, which is your forehead, and it also forms the roof of the eye orbit. We have two bones called parietal bones, which sit on top of your head, and then the occipital bone, which sits at the back. So as we look at this picture here, this really showcases the differences in the bones really well, showing you the borders of them and using different colors to help illustrate that. We see the frontal bone on the forehead here. We see one parietal bone, kind of in this maroon brownish color. And then at the back, we see the occipital bone. Now from the top view, the superior view, again, we see frontal bone telling us there's the forehead. And we see both parietal bones from this view. And then also see a little bit of the occipital bone at the back. Some more cranial bones include the temporal bones. So you'll find those around the temple of your head the sphenoid bone and the ethmoid bone. These two bones are gonna be found internally in the skull, but you can see a little bit of them from the outside and we'll see what that looks like here in just a moment. Now in red, you can see this is the temporal bone. Your temporal bone actually includes the big bump behind your earlobe. And we'll learn the name of that bump later on. In purple right here, we see the sphenoid bone. And again, that's gonna dive internally and then in green right here, we also have the ethmoid, which will be a very internal bone. Now, from a different view, again, we can see different parts of these bones in different areas. So in purple here is that sphenoid. We can see part of the sphenoid through this eye orbit on both sides here. And then the ethmoid bone in green, we see a little bit right there and on the other side and then through the nasal cavity. Even from an inferior view, we see parts of these bones. So the sphenoid bone, we'll get to specific features on this bone later on, but it's going to appear almost like a bat or a bird or some kind of winged animal. And so you're seeing that showcased here. So it's got a lot to it here. And then we see just a little bit of the F1 from this underneath view. We can even see them from a superior view with the top of the skull removed. In purple still is a sphenoid bone here and then just a little bit of the green ethmoid here. From a sagittal view, we get a more um, extensive view of the internal parts to it. So we have in green that ethmoid bone. So you can see this is very internal. And the same thing with the sphenoid bone here in purple still. Now the facial region bones are gonna include the maxillary bones. And so you're gonna find these bones on the inside of your face next to your nose. These zygomatic bones are gonna be the outsides of your cheeks, the nasal bones, which are pretty self-explanatory, and then the lacrimal bones. These are very tiny bones found in your eye orbit. So as we take a look here in blue, this is the zygomatic bone, so on the cheek. In orange right here, this is the maxillary bone of this side. Another purple little bone right here, this is the nasal bone of the right side. And then this small little bone in the eye orbit, this red coloration, that is the lacrimal bone. Again, from a front view, we see the both maxillary and orange here. We see both nasal and purple. We see both zygomatics in blue right there. We see just a little bit of the lacrimal bones right there in red. We also have a tiny bone called the vomer, which is a part of the nasal septum. We have palatine bones, which are going to be in the palate, so in the underside of the mouth. And then the mandible, which is the lower jaw. So here is the vomer, just this short extension forming the bottom half of the nasal septum. We also see the mandible, which is the lower jaw. On the inferior view, we see in yellow, these are the palatine bones. Now remember, in orange are the maxillary bones, so your maxilla forms a part of your mouth here, where the palatine bones form the, the posterior part of it. 